I'm holding over here in the Memches Devarim in the 48 ways to be to be Mekabal the Torah. So the next one here is Oises Siyag Dvarav. A person makes some kind of a Siyag. He makes fences for his words. Says the Tiferes Yisrael. What does that mean? If a person is careful with those things that he says, says the Tiferes Yisrael, there's different ways the before you explain. One way is that if a person gets very used to saying a lot of words, they speak a lot, they talk a lot, they say a lot of different things, so they'll get carried away in the world of Heter, in the world where you're allowed to speak, and it will carry them into the world of Isra, into the kind of things that you're not allowed to speak about. Whether it be Lashon Hara, whether it be other things that a person should not speak about. So a person should make a siyang, they should make a fence. They should make guardings around their words. That you speak when you need to speak, and when you don't need to speak, a person doesn't need to speak. If he does that, then lo yikasha bechatayim, he won't end up letting his words travel into the realm of chatayim, of sinful things that he shouldn't be speaking about. The other way that they explain is that when it is that you are saying over divay Torah, words of Torah, you have to make sure that you're very succinct and very specific in the way in which you're going to say over those words so that people will understand what it is exactly that you are saying. If you get up and you give a shir and halacha and at the end of the day, it was so wordy and there were so many things that you were saying that the people walk away. You ever walk away from the shir? Wow, that was amazing. What do you say? I have no idea. That's exactly what you don't want to happen. Because if somebody walks away and they have no idea at all what you were saying, so then they will stumble into chatoim, into sins. And therefore, say the Mepharshim, a person has to be very careful with the way in which they use the words, the way in which they teach over the words of Torah, that it should be understood by those people that are listening to them. The next midah that he speaks about over here is, the Einon Machsik Toi Someone who does not give themselves credit for all the good that they do. This is a little bit similar to what we were learning about last night, but Eino Machzik Toi he doesn't give himself so much credit for the good that he does. Says the, says the Tiferes Yisrael, Eino Machzik Toi V'Li'atzmai B'Dvarim Toi V'im In the good things that a person has done, he doesn't pat himself on the back too much. Now we live in a generation, you have to pat yourself on the back a little bit at least so you feel good. But the problem is that if I walk around patting myself on the back for every little thing that I do that's good, I start to think I'm the biggest tzaddik in the world. So I'm the biggest tzaddik in the world. There's not much more to grow. There's not much more to go. So therefore, says the Mishnah over here, a person should be careful. When you do something good, okay, it's between you and the Rebbe Nishalom. That's for you and Hashem. But to walk around and, 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 uh, and tout yourself for all the good that you do, that's what the, Mishnah, that's what the Bryce over here is saying is, is an issue. So the Mepharshim say like this, he created you, he brought you into this world. Yeshmayin, you're something from nothing, you're a creation that a Kodesh Baruch Hu brought into the world. Rak lasais tairasai. The only reason that a Kodesh Baruch Hu brought us into this world is to do his Torah. We came into this world to serve Hashem, we came into this world to learn, we came into the world to daven, we came into the world to work on our midas. We came in the world to conquer our Yetzirah. That's why we're here in the world. And therefore, don't give yourself so much credit that you're fulfilling the mission and the job that a Kodesh Baruch Hu hired you to do. And he says, A marshal, a marshal of Baal Choyv, Shepar Es I owe somebody money. And the guy says, Can you pay me? I said, Sure. Here it is, the money that I owe you. And I'm waiting for the guy to say, wow, thank you so much. It's amazing you paid me back. I have to give the guy credit for doing what he's supposed to do. You borrowed $100, you owe me the money. Thank you very much. A person comes and does a job. They punch in the clock, nine to five every single day. They come at the end of the, at the, end of the week and the boss gives him the check. Where he has to go wild over there. Wow, it's amazing. You came to work every single day. Here's your check. I hired you, I'm paying you the money, that's the job that you're here to do. Says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the way Rebbein Yon is understanding. The Rebbein Yishon created you. Your creation is to be able to serve Hashem. So therefore, when you do what you're supposed to do, 
Baruch Hashem, you're mekayim, you're tafke, you fulfill your purpose. But to look for the accolades, to look for all of the, the support and the high fives and, and the thumbs up and all of those things, that says a Ben Yonah we're not looking for. The Midrash Shmuel writes, Every single good deed that a person does. He says an amazing thing. Don't think that when you do a good deed, you are the one that is performing the good deed. You have to know if it wouldn't be for the fact that a Kodesh Baruch helps you to accomplish the good deeds, the mitzvahs, and everything in your life, you would never be able to conquer your Yitzhara on your own. tell us, if our Kodesh Baruch would not come along and help me, I would not be able to do it by myself. So when I do a mitzvah, when I overcome an Avera, when I work on my Midois so that they become better than they were before, when there's a, a struggle that I'm in with the Yetzirah and it's hard for me and I overcome, I battle the Yetzirah and I win, says the Midrash you should know who gave you the Kayach to do it. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that is giving you the strength to be able to do everything in your life in Avodah Hashem. So maybe we should give Machzik Toiva to the Rebbein Shalom. We should thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If you overcome a struggle in life, if you're Mekayim a mitzvah, if you, if, you, if you swerve past the Aver and you don't do it, so it's true. You Baruch Hashem, you use your Bechir, you did a good job. But if it wouldn't be for our Kodesh Baruch Hu, we'd never be able to do it. And one last thing he says over here, he says a beautiful idea. The, the Gemara Nida says that when a person is inside the womb, their mother's womb, so they're learning with a the Malach, they're learning and learning and learning, and they learn Kol HaTorah, Kula, all the Torah. Kishayot Sadavir, when they come out to this world, so the Malach hits us on our lips and we forget everything. Then he adds, If it wouldn't be for the fact that Hashem helps us in this world, He would never be able to remember what he forgot. Remember, every piece of Torah that you're learning is like recall on that which you learned when you were in the womb of your mother. But if it wouldn't be for the fact that HaKadosh Baruch is helping us, we'd never be able to remember anything. Why? Why? Because those things that you learned once upon a time and they're older, and now you forgot them, it's more difficult than learning new things. If you learned something previously and you forgot all about it, which I assume is most of us, to learn it again, it's painful to learn it again. Ah, it sounds familiar. Everything that we learned we learned with the Malach. So everything that we learned, we already learned once. And therefore it's very hard to learn. If HaKadosh Baruch wouldn't give us help, we'd never be able to learn even one word. And therefore says, say the Mephoshim over here, Am tachzik, uh, don't, be machzik, don't pat yourself on the back too much. Because we're doing what we're supposed to do. That's the job that we were given in this world. And number two, HaKadosh Baruch is the one that's helping us every single step of the way.